Should you guys invest in a placard? That's a great question. There's a lot of options. We have the Omega here, it's a little bit thicker, or you can run one that's just magazines. It's a big controversy right now between adding width on a placard or not. Today we're gonna to talk about different setups for the Omega and why I think it's a better option. So let's kick it off with an overview of the Omega. This placard's actually set up for like a recce rifle situation. There's a lot of medical in here. We've got some radio and some AR-10 mags. With this placard, you get four pouches for medical gear. Um, you can also put in this sleeve some medical stuff. I have some shears in here. I have a map in here. Um, it's just a universal sleeve. You can actually put this insert in um, and use a magnet to attach it to your phone. We'll talk about that later when we go over navigation. And with this placard, of course, you can run any mag sleeve in here. You can run uh, AR-10 mags, AR-15 mags, AK mags, whatever you want. Um, it's pretty universal. With this, you can also lock the tab back if you only wanted access to the front pouch. And with the medical gear, we went with the essentials. We have some gauze here, a rescue blanket, decompression needle, uh, Sharpie in case you need to write on somebody. And then we have two chest seals, super important. And we have some more gauze or emergency dressing. And of course some trach stuff. And then as I showed you guys in here, we also have the shears. And you guys can surprisingly fit a lot of medical gear in here. It shrinks up pretty small. As you can see, it's only about an inch, inch and a half thick. Um, so it's not gonna have a lot of mass hanging off your chest if you wanted to go prone or lay down. It's a pretty nice setup and it pulls the medical kit off your belt on your back and puts it in front of you. It's a little bit easier to reach if you had to work on somebody. Since you're not running a plate carrier, if you're running this H harness, it's, it's nice to be really streamlined without a belt. You just have one piece of kit and this kind of does everything. Hold your mags, hold your comms, hold your medical, and this is a super small setup. Also with the HRT H harness, we offer on our website this air pad backer. Um, it makes it really comfortable to wear this and you're not going to tear up any shirts you have with the Velcro on the back. This is a pretty nice setup for a, like a truck setup or a recce setup. It's just uh, perfect for most use cases. So we wanted to show you guys what this looks like on a play carrier setup. If I turn to the side, you can see, I can see my cell phone looking at ATAC right now. I can use maps or a GPS pretty easily. Um, if you wanted to flip this up and get to medical gear, it's super easy. Um, if you wanted to put a pad and paper here to write down stuff, also again, really easily. Um, it's nice that it only folds to about a 45 degree angle. Um, so everything is right here, up in your face. You can see it. It's almost like a mini table. It's really efficient in the field. A lot of other placards that have pouches up front just fold all the way down or they're really loose and baggy. Ours is supported with these straps and a insert in the front so it doesn't bend. It just makes a much more rigid system if you have to do stuff in front of you, you know, navigation wise, pen and paper, jotting down notes. So it just makes everything in the field a lot easier. Everything's at your disposal right here in front of your face. You don't have to find a table or a workbench or something. This is the setup with the H harness, same thing. Got your phone at a nice 45 degree angle. If you wanna look at it, you can fold it up out of the way. Got some more medical in here. Whatever setup you guys actually wanna run, you can do so on any setup. You know, this is the H harness with our placard, but you can put our placard on most plate carriers and most chest rig setups. But with the H harness, it's kind of nice. You have a lot more movement. It, it's not nearly as bulky as a plate carrier. That's why I had this set up for a recce setup um, or a precision shooting setup. If you want to put a range finder in here, it would definitely fit. It's just a lot lighter and easy to maneuver through woods or tight areas. And it's just not as heavy as a plate carrier. That's why I put this in my truck. Um, I can use it for almost any setup. It's just ideal for almost anything. So getting into navigation, Right here you can see I have, we have my cell phone and we have the insert that you can attach our magnet to. We ship with both the magnet and the steel plate. Um, both have 3M tape on the back side. You just peel the tape, stick it to your phone or a GPS or whatever else you want to attach to this for navigation. And same goes for this metal magnet. Just peel it off, stick it to this. I'll show you guys how to insert it in the Omega and then do a little demonstration on the navigation for ATAC in the Omega. So to install the insert, you just flip this tab open and slide it in this sleeve here. And then reseal it, pretty simple. I'm actually gonna throw my map in here. 
You can still utilize this pouch, even though the tab is in there, it opens up pretty big. With there being a magnet in here and a steel plate on your phone or GPS, you can just set the device on there. With it being at this angle, it gives you a great view of any mapping software to use such as ATAC or Google Maps for navigation or even a GPS. For this navigation setup, it's really simple. We just have my phone in there. I do have a decompression needle and a Sharpie and then just some chest seals and a radio on the side here. Super easy setup, super slim and minimal. If you wanna run a GPS, it's gonna make it a little bit thicker, um, but this is probably one of my favorite setups. It's really lean, you don't need a lot of stuff in here and it checks all the boxes for navigation. By the way, if you guys are enjoying the video, please like and subscribe. From now until November 1st, 2023, you guys can use the discount code OmegaYT at Harrington Arms to get 10% off an Omega Placard. Now let's talk about the admin setup. For this setup, you can literally do whatever you want. That's why it's admin. So in this instance, I have two magazines in here, one for a Magpul PMAG and one for a 17 round SIG P320 with our Harrington Arms mag extension. Um, in here, we just have a decompression needle and I still have the navigation set up you know, in case I want to throw my phone on here, it's kind of nice being a general use case. There's no reason to take it out. You might as well leave it in. You can still use the pocket. So you can just leave it more generalized. If you want more space, you can pull these mags out and throw in some candy, you know, throw in a tourniquet, whatever you want to be in here, you can put in here. Super general, super easy. If you want a little bit of medical, you know, you can make this how you want it. And if it's a mixture of all three use cases, so be it, it's, it's yours, you can do whatever you want with it. That's what's so nice about the Omega is it's adjustable per mission, if you will. You know, if you're just gonna throw this in your truck and it's gonna be in the case of an active shooter, throw some medical in there, you don't need navigation. But if it's a recce setup, you know, just a little bit of medical and a lot more navigation, more maps, more ammo, whatever you want. We wanted this to be universal in any capacity you know, set it up how you guys want it. Feel free to tag us in anything. If you guys think this is worth the added thickness to a plate carrier or an H harness, comment down below. We want to hear what you guys think. Do you prefer a placard with just magazines or do you want the added abilities of, you know, navigation, admin, medical, moving all this stuff up front so you have easy access to it in the field, wherever you guys actually use this kit. One of the primary uses of the Omega is storing magazines. So let's head to the range and put it to work. Now we're gonna shoot some drills. We're gonna kick it off with a 222 reload, 222. Uh, we're gonna do the reload from the Omega Placard. All right, guys, we got an 868 on that one. 16 shots with a reload. First target, let's see what we got. Two A zone, two C zone. Probably guessing these were coming back. I was sweeping across the target. And then target two, two A zone, or oh, I'm sorry, all four A zone. Target three, we got an A zone, two C zone, and a D. The D kind of sucks. Last target, three, well, one A zone, two riding the line of A and C, and then another one off and left of C. Not bad, uh, we're pretty close, so it probably should be a little tighter, but is what it is. We ran it again, we got a 903, 16 shots with the reload. Um, I slowed it down a little bit for accuracy reasons, not by much, but you can still see we still have two A zone, all the targets look about the same. So in this drill, we got a six, eight, seven. We ran it a couple of times. Um, we're seeing around seven seconds for every run. We got an A zone, a couple of C zone. This target, we got a couple more A zone, two C zone. Um, all in all, not bad, pretty good timing. I don't practice reloads enough from a placard. I do a lot of belt stuff. So I'm, I'm getting faster as the day goes on, but 
this is pretty much one of the main use cases for the Omega. As you guys can see at the range, I'm not the fastest at reloading from a placard, um, but in my opinion, it's the best way to carry three mags. You're not adding a bunch of weight to your waist uh, with a belt set up, it's just right there in front of you. It's just a little bit slower for me, but with practice, anyone can be super fast at it. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.